guys? Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and I'm about to show you guys the manual root method for the Google Nexus 7. Uh, yes, I know my screen's all jacked up, and I'm going to have to get with Google and have them to fix this. I don't know. I just took it out of the box, and the screen is all messed up, but I figured it doesn't matter. You guys want to see the root method now, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, unlock the bootloader manually and then apply root manually as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. The first thing you want to do is plug your phone into your device. Okay, so once it is plugged in, uh, you'll want to turn on USB debugging. So go to settings, developer options, and USB debugging. We need to turn these on. And then we will check USB debugging. So once that is connected, we can head over to the computer. Now there's a few things that you, you'll need to download. Uh, you'll need to download the Clockwork Mod Recovery and you'll need to download the JB Super User SU. Uh, let me get in where you can see a little better. Okay, so you'll have these downloaded. Now, you'll have to have the SDK already installed onto your device. Um, I will include a link in the description of how to do that. So once you have all that set up, you're going to go to Computer, C Drive. You're looking for Android SDK Windows. And you'll open that up. The next thing you want to do is head to your Platform Tools, open that up. You're going to drag and drop these two files into this folder and the JB super user SU you go ahead and drag and drop that over as well so the next thing you want to do is uh, you just press shift and right click and then you're gonna open a command window there and you'll just type ADB devices to make sure that everything is set up properly with the SDK and that it reads it Select enter. And if you see anything there, like we do now, then we know that it recognizes that and everything should be a go from there. Okay, so the next thing that we'll need to do is type ADB reboot boot loader. Hit enter. And that will have rebooted us right there on our device. So the next thing that we want to do is type fastboot OEM unlock. Okay, so a message will pop up on your device. And it's going to give you a warning. This is going to void your warranty do you still want to proceed and we do want to proceed so we're gonna hit yes or we will select with the power button okay so that should have unlocked us it says unlocking now you'll see it's telling you exactly what it's doing on the screen of your computer it says bootloader is unlocked so now now we should be unlocked Okay, so from this point, we're just going to click Start. Now, it's going to reboot the device. And you see down there that we are unlocked. Uh, this will wipe everything. So make sure that you have everything backed up before you start this. Um, because this is wiping everything now. And it's going to go ahead and boot into the system. We are unlocked. Uh, then we're going to type some more commands as soon as this all boots back up. Now, it may appear to be boot looping, but it's really not. Uh, it will boot up. This time it should boot into the system. We just need to get back in there and turn on USB debugging again. This does take a while because it is wiping your system. And it's like a first boot up all over again. Okay, so once we boot back into the system, I'm just going to try to skip through this if I can. Okay, so we're just going to run in there and turn on USB debugging again. So go back into developer options, turn those on, then we will uh, turn on USB debugging, where are we, right there. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go back home, we'll just kind of set the phone down. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is take that uh, super user that we downloaded, 
and we're going to want to drag and drop that onto our phone. Uh, so we'll open up our phone storage and we will go ahead and drop that super user onto the SD card. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific. In fact, you could just put it directly on the SD card. So we'll just drag and drop that onto the SD card. And once that's copied over, we're just going to close out of this. We'll return to our uh, ADB commands. Okay, so we booted into the bootloader by typing ADB reboot bootloader. Uh, so that got us into the bootloader. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is flash clockwork mod recovery. So what we'll have to do here is type uh, fastboot flash and then we'll just copy and paste the name of the recovery. Uh, it was where was it? So many recoveries. It was the grouper recovery. Here it is. Uh, so we will just hit rename and we're just going to copy and paste that name into adb.img. So that image should be cwm-grouper-recovery.image and we're going to click or hit enter. For some reason it's not able to determine the file name. That's the correct name of the file. Okay, so what you want to do here is type fastboot flash recovery cwm-grouper-recovery.image. Um, earlier you can see up here I forgot to include the recovery. Just double check what you're doing before you do it. Hit enter. And that is sending the recovery. Uh, so now we should be able to I just reboot recovery again, fast boot, reboot, bootloader, or we may be able just to boot into recovery here. Let's see. We'll go into recovery mode and see what we get. Okay, so now we're in clockwork mod recovery. That was easy. Uh, so from here, we're going to go to install zip from SD card, select power and just find that super user okay so I guess you select with up maybe no how do you select let's see power should be it right here oh this is touch recovery yay uh, choose it from SD card and as soon as it comes up we're looking for this JB super user su.zip so we're gonna go ahead and flash that yes to install and we are rooting our device so from here we're going to go back Okay, reboot system now, and we should have root. Uh, so as soon as this boots up, we are going to check to see if we have super user, and we should have that. That is the manual method for installing root on your Google Nexus 7. I forget. Okay, so we should now have our super user. There we are, super user. Installation was successful. And there you have it. Uh, so you now have super user on your Android device. That was quick and easy. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I will soon have the one-click guide using Wugfresh's um, root application that'd be much easier so stay tuned for that uh, be sure to click on the subscribe button right here give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it leave your comments below uh, thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next one